Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of... Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. Welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that gives me the ideal opportunity to do exactly that. Round up everything that's happening in this week in the world of Transformers. Also with what's going on with this channel and of course with my Instagram, which is also called Toys underscore R Russ. I've got my list here, I've got a slightly different background. Yes, I am at work again, but there's so much going on. My list is huge. We're gonna be talking about Hasbro, Takara, KFC toys, no no TFC toys, fans toys, etc. Let's just go straight into it. So, UK viewers, we're again, we're a little bit behind, but on Hasbro Pulse, we can now order Tigertron, Shadow Panther and Waspinator. Of course, these have already been spotted elsewhere around the world in quite a few locations. I also believe that they're also available to order from Pulse in the United States as well. So, uh, sticking with sightings and where you can find things, Target, Shattered Glass Goldbug has been spotted. So you'll notice, again, this is just a direct screenshot from the website. I use TFW2005, tformers.com, Cybertron, etc. Try and bring the news to you without you having to go on there. So there you go, sticking with Target. Not only have you got Shattered Glass Bumblebee, you've also got these exclusives, Super 7, Reaction, Golden Lagoon, Megatron, and Optimus Prime. So Super 7 are getting as bad as Hasbro R and Takara with using the same moulds over and over again as of course you probably saw with the Mega Megatron, not Mega Drive video I did last night. But yeah, I suppose again if you if you like non-transforming figures or if you just want to set up a particular scene, that's obviously going to be the Golden Lagoon scene. There they are. These are Target exclusives. So you've got your Shattered Glass Goldbug sighted, and there's your Target exclusives. Golden Lagoon, clearly just obviously all gold painted, Optimus Prime and Megatron. Moving on right now, then we've got Moon Studios. And of course, they're going to be doing their take on Raiden. He's going to be called Radiatron. And they've got two figures. They've got Iceland and Dark Knight. And again, these, these are looking really, really good. I'm definitely liking the looks of these. Um, I'm slightly biased because I just love the train bots. I really do. I think they're fantastic. So we've got angles there, front and back. Apologies, you can see the pictures actually loading, but I did have it ready before we started. That's, of course, going to be the legs there. Again, looking brilliant. They're tucking away all the weapons in the back as well. I love that. I love the fact that, obviously, everything is hidden away um, and you can store all the parts. I like that straight away. Here they are in their alternate modes. Again, looking fantastic. And then this is quite funny as well because it does actually say on the bottom there that the Lego track that it is on, it is not included. But you can't deny they're looking really, really good. Right, this one you've got to take with a pinch of salt. Um, it's not official, but it's been found on the Weibo site. So this is uh, Takara Tomy Optimus Prime Kingdom version. However, what it is and what it's looking like is it's just looking like they've used the Ultra Magnus mode mode mold sorry ultra magnus mold and they've painted him in g1 optimus prime colors so i've got the official statement from what it says here so i'll read you that because again i don't want to tell you anything that's not 100 percent true it just says right now we only have some small quality images with no official confirmation at all and it says the images show that what seems to be the core in a robot of the kingdom ultra magnus mold in classic g1 optimus prime colors and it also looks like they're going to be getting some stands as well so i actually really like the look of that to be fair I know it's not very detailed, you can't see very much of it, but I really like it. I think that looks very, very good, to be honest, and it obviously would bring him more in line with the scale of the fact that he's a leader class figure, so I like, I'm liking that a lot. Okay, TFC Toys now, so they're Tyrant or their Dominator Megatron, as he's known. I'm going to quickly just give you a little bit of spiel about this before we look at the pictures, because this is something special if you're into your um, crossovers. So before, this figure's based on the amazing Don Figueroa's concept art for a G.I. Joe Transformers uh, crossover. And Dominator Megatron is a triple changer that can transform into a tank and a helicopter, okay? There's also extra pieces of armor that come with it. So let's have a look at the pictures then, because there's quite a few on here. Um, and again, looking really, really good. So let's show you this there. Let's get it all loaded and nice and clear, as you can see there. Tyrant Megatron and it's TFC Toys. Huge cannon, 
there's a few shots here in robot mode with all some of the additional um, add-on bits there, which I'm going to show you in more detail in a picture in a second. Look at that for a load of accessories. So you can really, as I say, power him up, armor him up. And again, of course, make the other modes, which you're about to see in a second. There again, another robot shot. And I'm going to move on to some of the alternate modes. And so there, of course, is a tank mode. And again, looks good. Megatron at the moment, obviously, that's, that's his main, I suppose, alternate mode. There's the tank from another angle. And then we've got a tank with some of the battle up armor and stuff on top. Looking good. Same again. Just again, maneuvered some pieces around, making it look slightly different. Again, th that's the beauty, I suppose, of having all these additional pieces. Here's the helicopter mode you can see. We'll just wait for that to come into a bit more clarity for you. The Wi-Fi at work, I do apologize, isn't as good as at home. Let's see if we can get a better picture. Ah, there we go. So there's, again, him in all of his modes. Looking really good. So if you want to know more information on that, there's a big section, as you can see, on TFW 2005. Uh, moving over again, train bots. This time it's official. Unfortunately, there's, there's no better pictures than this. I've waited till the absolute last minute to see if I can get some better pictures of this. All we've got is this. And this is, of course, Shuki. This is the official Takara masterpiece images of him. He's in colour. If I zoom in on it, it doesn't really make it much better. But that is literally, that is all the images we've got. I wanted to get some better images of this to show you because, again, I'm excited for the train bots and especially for these because, you know, this was announced in 2019. So really looking forward to that. Right, moving on to in-hand images of Kingdom Blue Streak. And I know this isn't going to be everybody's cup of tea because, again, we're talking about moulds being used over and over again. I like him because he looks good. Obviously, it's a perfect homage to his original Diaclone self. It looks good, but of course, it is just exactly that. It is, of course, just a redeco of the Datsun brothers. So we've obviously already got Prowl. We've got all of them, I suppose, of course. This is just another redeco, and there you can see them all. And of course, with the barricade that they did with that uh, twin pack with... Um, Punch and Counter Punch that I did a video on not so long ago. Right, moving on to Fans Toys. This is some more in-hand colour images of Cap, as they're calling him. And that's because, obviously, in Super God Master Force, Takara, who was originally and properly known as Cab. And this is a brilliant take on the Junior Headmaster, which we can see right there. Great images, front and back. And you can see these pictures, they really, not that one, but the ones you're going to see in a second, they're really showing off just how, uh, I suppose, articulate he is. Look at that. That's a great image of him posing. Ah, moving on already. And again, for those people who know what this is or those people who don't, you're not going to forget this name anyway. This is, and they've got limited at the end of their name now, so it's an official branding name for them. This is Banana Force. And this is their take on Jinrai. So again, the obviously Japanese version of Optimus Prime. It's MPL04, and I hope I get this right. Geet Buster. But that's spelled G-E-A-T and then a separate word B-A-S-S-T-O-R. -S so I don't want to get that word mixed up. This is a family show. Geet Buster. And it's their take on Jinrai. And again, you won't forget the company name, Banana Force. And he looks really good. He looks really good. They've got the extra, as I say. Again, they just make the Japanese figures look that little bit more, maybe samurai-ish, you know, a little bit more points here, there and everywhere. Great take on Jinrai. Really liking that. Looking very, very good. Told you, so much going on at the moment. So much going on. Same with this. Again, I hold my hands up. I don't know absolutely everything. So sometimes I take a screenshot of exactly what it is we're going to be looking at next. So this is the Takara Diaclone D87 Waruda Legion. And it's a Ripper Dark Cathole type. And it's official images. This only broke last night. And we've got the Waruda Legion Ripper. It's a mass-produced Waruda. I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> Mobile giant mecha equipped with the terrifyingly evolved variable system. And you can adjust it into loads and loads of different things. So let's get some of the images up here. I like the way they're sort of going back to a Diaclone, um, I suppose, starting point. So for those of you who don't really know too much about Diaclone, basically these figures will have little pilots, as we're about to see in a second. There you go. There's the little pilot, and he's going to go inside. Like the original pre-Transformers, of course, Diaclone were pre-Transformers. And that's why a lot of the original figures had, you know, spaces to put pilots 
in either cockpits or in driving seats, things like that. And it's just, I suppose, it's interesting that they're going back to this sort of, I suppose, toy. Toy, well, not franchise, but to idea with the toy. It's just really interesting. Again, there's the write-up of it. There's loads of this on TF, no, tformers.com, including another one as well. So this is DA88 Powered Grater, and it's an upgrade kit, basically. It's an armored machine that separately enhances all modes of battle convoy. So there's loads of things. Again, this is the last piece of it, I think, to show you. Yes, it is. So let's have a look at some of the images. It doesn't look like much itself. It's just like a bit of an upgrade kit. But again, you can see where the pilot is going to be going. Again, doesn't really look like much there by itself. There's all the pieces. I was going to say bits. There's all the pieces in their um, individual parts. Here again is some of the modes. And then here we go. Here is you combining them. And again, you've got the number of references there. So combining with DA40, combining with DA55, DA85, which is, I think, Di Atlas or Big Power, one of the two. Sorry, I'm getting it totally mixed up. I love the look of that. That looks absolutely fantastic. That looks just like a super powered up roller, doesn't it, in Optimus Prime's trailer? And again, there it is. You can see now it looks much, much greater when you've combined that with DA65. So there is DA85, which is the new product combined with DA65. And again, some more angles of them all combined. Looking fantastic. So again, quick apologies for doing this at work, but I wanted to get the information out to you guys as fast as I could. I'll be back with you in two days doing another news thing because, again, there's just so much going on. Uh, Megatron shattered glass last night. Fingers crossed if he comes later on today, I'll be doing Studio Series 86 Slug. Uh, I've got some more Japanese. I'm going to collate all the Japanese Mini Com Micro Master Combiners. I've been asked to do that on Instagram, so I'm going to be doing a collection video then for the weekend. And, yeah, just as much as I can get done for you guys in the time that I've got. Brilliant. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.